Friends, today I wanna to try a challenge. Now, I've seen this on YouTube several times. I'm gonna to try to bounce to a bowling ball off a trampoline from a 10-story building. No, <laughs> shut up, Brandon. We're gonna take a regular grocery store cake and try to turn it into a high-end, chic-looking wedding cake. Can we still try the bowling ball thing? Sure. I have my two grocery store cakes. I got two because once I take the icing off, I don't know how much cake is actually underneath here. And we may need a little more to do the two tiers. Uh, this one's actually really pretty, but we have to take them down to the studs. So I gotta take all the icing off. Are we ready? Yeah. This is like a home renovation show. Kind of. Flip that cake! <laughs> Love it or bake it. What else could we call our renovation show? Think Property Brothers. Confectionary oh. Brothers. Yes. Trading What's... cakeses? Cake cakeses? Trading cakeses? <laughs> this old cake? This old cake! <laughs> and the winner is Brennan! What do we have for him, Johnny? He gets to be a cameraman for longer! <laughs> yes! That, uh, that doesn't sound delicious. It's because it's a buttercream that's made with a different kind of fat than butter, so it crusts. Mm. See, so you got, I bet that tastes just like a chocolate covered donut. Like hog fat or something? Kind of. No. Duck fat? Not duck fat, that's expensive. Is it mayonnaise? Probably mayonnaise. Okay. Yeah, it's probably mayonnaise. We're just gonna say it's mayonnaise. Wait, do you mean it's not really mayonnaise? Is mayonnaise really mayonnaise? I don't know the answer to these questions, Joshua. You know why? Because you don't consume mayonnaise, that's why. The mayonnaise is gross. Do you like any condiments? Yes, buffalo sauce, ketchup, and honey mustard. I'm gonna do this towards you, don't I? I could eat mayonnaise for every meal. This, ugh. This is just one, this is not even filled, it's just one cake. Oh. See, there's no like, there's no layer. Oh, it's just one. So maybe this whole thing I'll cut up and that'll be my top tier. But I bet that baby's got layers in her. She came from the Publix. She came from the Walmarts. Do you have a, do you have a hierarchy of supermarkets in your head, Joshua? Oh, always. Okay, here we go. Let's try the next one. Gee. All right, here we go. I think this girl is either real cold or still frozen because she um, she's spitzing. I'm thinking I'm gonna take the flowers off first. This is actually, this cake is really well done. This is really sweet. I think this is a great cake. <laughs> that I'm now going to destroy. Look, you can just take these whole roses off. Uh, I'm not a child. Did you go to the Publix and then say, you guys have any uh, grandma birthday cakes? Like a real good no, cake for a grandma? I, if somebody wrote happy birthday JJR on this cake, I would be super happy. It's cute. Can you write happy birthday grandma JJR on it? Actually, I think this is giving me inspiration. I think we're gonna go purple for the wedding cake. Oh. Cause I wasn't sure what color, so I think we're gonna go purple. But look how thick this cake is. Like, this is probably layered. Brandon, do you wanna eat one of these roses? Sure. Here, go ahead and eat those over to me. Do you want me to eat one? Yeah, I want to taste. Okay, hold on. A whole rose? Yeah, why not? Gross! I'm not gonna eat the whole thing. I'm gonna take a bite. You are a good catch, man. Yeah. Even because I'm a crappy thrower, I thought you were actually gonna eat that. Mm -mm. I accidentally ate the whole thing. <laughs> and your mouth is purple. It's pretty good. Okay, the top has been exhumed. This cake even looks really nice. I think I'm just gonna chop the sides. Chop the frosting off. Ooh. Oh yeah, oh sure. Oh, it's layered, look, it's layered, it's layered. Ooh. Ooh. Why didn't we just use the slayer to get the top off? Because, do you remember a while ago, there's a scar right here where I was doing that for the frozen thing and I sliced my hand wide open and I had to get a whole bunch of stitches when I was uh, in Amsterdam. So, we're gonna that. do it like this, Brandon, okay? I remember now. Oh, this is so nice and clean. Look how impressed I am with this thing as I destroy it. <laughs> it's like a doctor doing surgery and going like, you know, I don't think he needs this, but let's just keep going. <laughs> I should've got a bigger bowl. <laughs> Okay, so I have decided that I'm going to do a six inch square and then topped with a four inch square. So now I've got to cut these things out and layer them with my own buttercream. And clean up my mess. Brandon, what did you do? Three, <laughs> what do we got here? I've got a six inch cake board. This cake is not actually 12. It's like 11 and some change. But that's okay. We want it to be a little shy so we can fit buttercream like I normally do. So we won't have to trim the sides. So I'm just gonna cut this in half. What's half of 11? Five and a half. <laughs> it's gonna be just shy, just shy. Like that. And then we'll cut it in half. Like 
cut these two exactly the same. Ooh, big chunk of garbage cake. Oh. <laughs> Actually, let me taste this cake. I think grocery store cake gets a really bad rap. A lot of it's really good. That's perfectly delicious. Perfectly delicious. I would eat that. I said I'd throw some of it away. I, just, I can't eat that much. I think this cake with my buttercream would be really good because my cake is so dense and this is really light and airy. Do you try and peel apart the middle layers and get your buttercream in it? Nah. Then you're talking about like serious cake surgery. Oh God. Is it supposed to smell like that? Uh, Slayer. Uh, no, uh, spatula, spatula. Uh, no, 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 that's not gonna work. I need uh, dowel cutters, quickly. Oh no, oh no, paddles. You have the blood pressure. Clear. One more time. Clear. We have a pulse, we have a pulse. Oh. Wait, are cakes supposed to have pulses? <laughs> so we're just gonna have like multiple flavors going on. Boom. Now that's a breakup sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now let's do the four inch, and then we'll get them both in the cooler at the same time. To firm up, we're gonna have to trim that one, but it's okay. Okay, same deal. Sometimes your cake, it needs a little haircut. Hair cuts and cake. There's hair cuts and cake. Say what now, hair cuts and cake. Oh yeah, yeah, hair cuts and cake. Oh no, no, hair cuts and cakes. Yabba dabba dabba, hair cuts and cakes. Ee hee hee, hair cuts and cakes. Dabba dooba da, hair cuts and cakes. And it fades to silent, was that what that was? Yeah. Okay, let's get everybody into a cooler and then we'll figure out if we need to trim them and then we'll do the crumb coats and the final coats and all that stuff. But we just gotta get them all in there, like triage. This is like after surgery. Post-op. Post-op. And They're then... good, the patients are looking really good. And then we bounce them off a trampoline. <laughs> Perfect, see all this room we have? That's where the buttercream's gonna go. All right, I'm gonna give this a crumb coat and then we'll get it back in the cooler and then we'll do a final coat. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna crumb coat it in white, but I'm probably gonna do like a light purple on the outside. <laughs> As I'm tightening up my final coat, I'm actually going to leave this little lip here. So when I stack the two tiers, I'm gonna fill this with, what did I say I'm gonna fill with? With alligators, like oh. a cake moat. That would be kind of cool. Ah, uh, bowling ball, that's where the bowling ball goes. <laughs> no, with purple mirror glaze. Sorry, I had a brain fart. Have we been working you too hard, Joshua? Always. You work me too hard, you may <laughs> listen to songs that don't exist, that you make up out of nowhere. What are you talking about? Have you not heard the Purple Box song? It's like one of my favorites. I'm so scared of this song right now. Is that the one that kind of sounds like Love Shack? Yeah. <laughs> that is. You're such a <laughs> you, Here, look, I'll get it on my computer. I'll try and pull it up here. Okay, here it is. It's Saturday night and we're over here. Hold on, hold on, hold on. <laughs> <laughs> well, you just, they just crack themselves up. I'm working and they're just sitting back there making up songs. This is a real song. I'm playing it on my computer. I did not know you had your own album. How no, come, this is what James finds all these songs that somehow he's the one singing. Dude, did you hear that? That clearly wasn't me. That was, that was the guy from the Love Shack song. Yeah, it's B-52's esque. All right, here, I'm going to start playing it again, okay? Okay. All right. <laughs> it's Saturday night and I put on my socks. I'm gonna go out and go to places that rock. I don't know if I'll find a big hawk, but I'm going to find me a nice purple box. It's a purple box. Yes, it is. It's a purple box and I'm gonna take it with me. It's a purple box. What's inside? It's a purple box. I'm gonna go hot. 
They're completely hit. sober. In the 90s, that was a hit. That's huge. You couldn't go to a wedding without hearing the Purple Box song. See, you, you missed the best part that could have been that entire song. What was that? Purple Box! <laughs> Busted! <laughs> Frosted! Frosted! There you go. Then I messed it up. Okay, one more to the top tier, and we'll stack these babies. We're gonna stack our tiers. Everything is cold and ready to go. I'm going to stack the little tier on top of the six inch, and then we're gonna stack them all on top of this platform, which is where our flowers will go. You'll see as we do the process here. Brandon, so, don't eat the white stuff on the bottom. I was gonna say, is that? Don't. We just don't want the flowers to touch the cake, plus I want it to be very dramatic, right? Brandon's like, I don't know. Yeah. Okay, put it in the middle. We're gonna mark it. Get down through those tiers. The last dowel I sharpen so I can get it all the way through all the cake boards, the styrofoam, and the presentation board. And then I'm just gonna pop it in place. I got my palette knife and I've got two different colors of purple. And so I'm gonna just smear on this watercolory sort of avant-garde design. And that's purple buttercream, right? Purple buttercream, yes. Just saw the palette knife, thought maybe paint, I don't know. Yeah. Grass. Grass. Hey, Joshua. Yo. While you're working, you want to hear some viewer comments? I would love to. Viewer comments. Starting off the day, we got Calvin Matheto. Hi, Calvin. Calvin says, JJR, you are the best. Aww. You really inspire me as a startup self-taught baker. Thank I'm in you. Botswana, Africa. Whoa. Dude, thanks for watching. Whatever time of night it is there or day. <laughs> <laughs> Paul and Benny. Hi, Paul and Benny. Uh, say, copper on chocolate mirror glaze def needs to be the trend for the next couple of years. They watched the chocolate chip cookie cake. <gasps> oh yeah, copper, rare right, yeah. Thank uh, you. And then the heart smiley face. P.S. Who does JJR's hair? I need that person in my hair. Love it. I do my own hair on set, but a barber named David Rodriguez cuts my hair here in Atlanta. That's just my. That's just me. You know, I don't have to put more flowers on. Then we're gonna do that. Getting ahead of myself. James, go. Anna Sun says. Hi, Anna. Doubt this will be seen. Already wrong, Anna. Right. But is there somewhere we can send recipes to you for you to try? There's a cake I want to make and it looks and sounds yummy, but I'm not confident in my baking skills to make it yet. It seems pro level and I'm only a beginner. Okay, this is a fantastic idea. Please check out our website, you've been deserted.com. You can contact us through there or you can email us at info at, in, at, info at you've been, I don't even know what our email info address is. Info at you've been deserted.com. Was that a good lip sync? Yeah, try it again, ready? Yeah. Info at you've been deserted.com. I think they get it. So send it there. And if you can, please tell us where the recipe came from so we can give credit. But that would be a fun segment to do. I love yeah. that. And the last viewer comment of the day comes from Lisa George. Hi, Lisa. She says, I'd love to win a shirt, prayer, hands, fingers crossed hands. Since I don't think you saw my comment with the invite to my Coast Guard retirement party in Texas, you of course are invited anytime, <laughs> June 12th weekend to celebrate, party hat, emoji, happy face. This would be an awesome new addition to my t-shirt collection. I'm switching from Coast Guard to Cake Cookie YBD shirts. Heart with an arrow through it, happy red cheeked face, clapping face, hearts around a happy face. <laughs> and thank you for your cookie cake video. I loved it and can't wait to try it. That's amazing. A, you broke James. Congratulations on your transition <laughs> into being a cake person now. Um, yeah, can we send her a shirt? Or? Let's send her a shirt. We're gonna send you a shirt. We're gonna send one. I'll, gonna, I'll reach out to you. We're gonna do it, yeah, awesome. So awesome. Very last step, we gotta fill our little wells with our purple mirror glaze. It's more like fuchsia though. Yeah. Not purple, right? Fuchsia. I wasn't gonna call you out on it, but I was thinking it. <laughs> yeah, right, James. Okay, here we go. 
They're called cake moats, okay? Oh, it's a really pretty color though. We need to be very gentle not to overfill our moat. You got, got some alligators in there still? Yeah. I can spread it out a little bit too. Evenly. Come on. I wish I had a moat with a drawbridge. You can build a moat. Okay, the alligators go on this level. Yeah. Just some little itty bitty ones. I'd give like the Amazon guy a code to my drawbridge so that he can bring packages over and they don't get stolen. <laughs> don't make me laugh. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not walking over to that drawbridge every time the Amazon guy comes. <laughs> I'm giving him a code. Well, there's no point of having a moat if your Amazon packages are on the other side of the moat. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. You gotta give him the code. Gotta give him the code to the drawbridge gate. Yep, in my cake house. In the cake house. Man, that's pretty modern. We started today with two cakes, just regular cakes from the grocery store, and I'm like, where did she come from? I love this so much. This is something I'd put my name on, I would sell, and it's just regular old grocery store cake. Like the video, subscribe below. I'm Joshua John Russell, and you've been deserted. Hey Joshua, can I have that cake? Why? I'm gonna have a wedding for two pairs of my shoes. Okay, now that is weird, <laughs> but sure.